The US dollar is officially over or at the very least very soon if certain countries have their way. Some of the world's most powerful nations have formed an alliance with the goal of ending the US dollar's reign and potentially removing the West from the top of the global food chain. A few world's leaders are planning to create a new form of money to accomplish this. Putin and Xi Jinping are a part of a plot as are the leaders of Brazil and India, Narendra Modi and Jahir Bolsonaro. This new currency will quickly become a serious threat to the US dollars and it will almost certainly become the most powerful form of money on the planet. Hello finance enthusiasts, welcome back to Finance Insight. Today's topic is indeed a very big news, news that could forever change the way that we trade globally. To explain this, we first have to explain who the current holders of the world's most powerful currencies are. You have most likely heard of the G7. It is a collaboration of some of the world's most powerful economies, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Japan and the European Union. It was previously known as the G8 and Russia was a member, but it was renamed the G7 in 2014 after Russia's membership was suspended following the annexation of Crimea. The main reason for the G7's existence is to keep Western power at the top of the global food chain by strengthening the political and economic ties between member nations. However, it is also to help ensure that their money remains the most powerful on the planet. Five of the world's six most powerful trading currencies are G7 currencies, with the mighty US dollars at the top of the list. For the most part, the G7 wants the US dollar to remain the most powerful currency on the planet because keeping the US dollars on top helps keep other G7 currencies on top which also helps the West maintain dominance. However, the G7's strengthened hold on our world's economy state may be about to change and it has everything to do with BRICS. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa and is essentially a competitor to the G7. It is made up of the world's largest developing economies. Individually, the nations that comprise BRICS pose little threat to the West, but when they come together, the picture changes dramatically. Today, the BRICS nations account for more than 40% of the global population and 31.5% of the global GDP. However, the IMF estimates that by 2030, only 8 years away, the BRICS countries will collectively account for half of the world's GDP. And this does not include new countries that may join the allies. Argentina has recently formally applied to join the BRICS. According to the reports, Iran may soon follow the suit and Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Turkey are also considering joining as well. BRICS dominance poses a serious threat to the Western dominance and it appears that they are aware of this. The United States dollar is their first target. Every year, the BRICS nations meet to discuss the future of their collaborative partnership. BRICS dropped a financial bomb that may seal the fate of the US dollar at their 14th annual meeting in June this year and the news were delivered by this guy, Vlad himself. Putin announced BRICS plans to create a new global reserve currency, a type of money that will become a standard in Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, as well as other countries that may join the allies. The words reserve currency are the most important part of the Putin's announcements because it will knock out the US dollars off the top spot for that to happen. The US dollar is currently regarded as the world's reserve currency. That is, it is used for the vast majority of the world's trade today. Approximately 40% of all international trade is conducted in the US dollars and almost all crude oil buying and selling is done in this currency. This basically means that every country on the planet must buy and hold US dollars. The more US dollars that must be purchased or used, the more valuable the currency. And the United States is the only country that has the control over printing and destruction of this currency. That is, if the United States need to buy more goods from other countries, it can simply print more money, effectively exporting its inflation to the rest of the world. However, if the US dollar loses its reserve currency status, the country could be devastated. BRICS appears to be actively attempting to achieve this outcome. So how will the BRICS new money function? This is most likely how it will work once it is launched. Let's call this new currency BRICS bucks for now. According to Putin's announcements, the new currency would function as a basket containing the value of the currencies of the five BRICS nations making it a semi-decentralized and more stable than the US dollar. And giving the currency even more power, it's possible that BRICS currency will be backed by gold as well. Since the first BRICS meeting, the five nations have been buying gold at an alarming rate, increasing their supply by thousands of percent per year. In other words, more gold than the entire world's supply today. 
New deposit that will almost entirely be mined by China means that, for the first time in a half a century, we may have a currency backed by gold, which would almost immediately make it the most valuable money on the planet. The United States is probably pooping its pen at the prospect of the BRICS creating its own currency, especially if it is backed by gold, because it will spell disaster for the Western grip on the global economics. On the other hand, it will be a very good news for the economies of the BRICS nations. A BRICS currency would give these five countries a stronger grip on the economic future. They could control more of the global trade without having to buy or hold US dollars. The economies of the BRICS nations would no longer be easily manipulated by the US government, and the US will no longer have any control over their money giving the BRICS nation an almost unparalyzed level of economic stability. To summarize, a BRICS currency could easily overtake the US dollar, which is huge news. However, this is not the first time that the power of the West money has been threatened and the previous time was not so long ago in human history. On March 19, 2011, a NATO-led coalition launched an intervention in Libya. France and the United States led the force. According to the UN Security Council, the mission was humanitarian in nature, with the goal of preventing another civil war in Libya and putting an end to allegedly crime against humanity committed by Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. However, the invasion of Libya could have been motivated by other factors, and as you might expect, it's all about money and power. There were rumors that Gaddafi has planned to unite Africa prior to the invention of Libya. According to unclassified email released by the US State Department, he intended to accomplish this by establishing a new African currency, the African dinar, which would be backed by gold. This new currency had the potential to seriously undermine Europe's power in Africa. This is due to the fact that at the time, and still today, over a dozen African countries use the CFA, francs, as their currency. These nations, known as francophone countries, are former French Empire colonies, and the CFA francs is pegged to the Europe, giving Europe significant economic control over the nations that use it. Countries that use it must also make substantial deposit with the French treasury. If Gaddafi was successful in uniting Africa under the gold dinar, the Euro's power would have been weakened, as would Europe's economic control over the region. This is exactly what French President Nicolas Sarkozy feared. According to the leaked emails, Sarkozy allegedly had five main goals in mind when he invaded Libya. All of this involved around maintaining a steady flow of oil to France and Europe's power in Africa. The amount of gold Libya possessed influenced Sarkozy's decision to overthrow Gaddafi. None of these explanations corresponding to the public narrative that the invasion occurred for humanitarian reason. In the end, NATO forces toppled Libya's government, resulting in the eventual execution of Gaddafi himself. This explains why our currency designed to challenge the power of the G7 nation is such a big deal. So what we can take away from BRICS situation, diversification and stability. A BRICS currency would most likely become one of the most stable currencies on the planet, especially if it is backed by gold. Its power would almost stem from the fact that it will be spread across several nations' economies rather than just one. We can all learn from the steps of BRICS is taken, such as diversification or stabilizing over investments. For example, by investing our cash across multiple currencies or many stable asset classes and avoiding more risky bets that may put our investments at risk, and for added stability, you can follow the lead of the BRICS by investing a proportion of your portfolio in gold. The most stable form of money ever created, if the BRICS currency becomes available, it will be a good investment. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy the recent video we made about how a lot of a US dollar's power is tied to oil as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for learning more about the joys of finance and freedom. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.